So welcome to Governmental Accounting, Accounting 3713. I look forward to having you in this class. I think this is really going to be a fun class. It's the first time we've taught governmental nonprofit accounting in a while. And um, I really think it's going to be um, a good class and just help you kind of reinforce your understanding of financial accounting because we're, we'll be looking at financial accounting and the differences in governmental accounting. So we, um, I'll, I'll start here in the start here section to kind of give you a brief overview. Make sure my internet's working. Okay, here we go. And so um, we'll go over the syllabus in just a second. My contact information, if you click here, you'll see that. And with my office hours, best way to reach me is email. Uh, getting started. So we will be studying accounting and financial reporting for governmental and non not-for-profit organizations. Sometimes we'll call them non-profit. It's the same thing including fund accounting for state and local governments. We will also briefly study uh, tribal accounting and governmental structures. And um, course policies are in my syllabus. We'll go over those in just a second. Connect registration, you do have to have Connect for this course. Go through Blackboard to register. If you do that, it, it keeps you from having any synchronization issues. If you go to Connect to register, Sometimes your grades won't um, go directly into Blackboard and, and it ca can cause problems and you'll have to call and get help. So if you follow these instructions, it seems like students don't have issues with synchron synchronization when they go through Blackboard. So I've put those up there for you. This is something you'll want to refer to often. This is uh, our course calendar. It should not change. If we don't have class, we'll have it online. Uh, for some reason, if we have bad weather, then um, we'll just move the class online and I'll make that announcement on Blackboard for those of you enrolled in the hybrid section. And I'll tell you now, this class includes some students who are enrolled in the hybrid section and some students who are enrolled in the online section. And so you have to remember as we go along that some things are required of you if you're in the hybrid section and some things are required of you if you're in the online section. Mostly if you're in the um, hybrid section, attendance is required when we have class. And if you're in the online section, discussion boards are required. And so that's kind of the big difference in your assignments. Everything else should be the same for you. You'll notice this first week, we do two chapters. There are 17 chapters in this book, but it's not a big book. So a lot of the chapters are pretty short. And I think it's really important that we touch on all of the concepts and then again get the big picture of what governmental and nonprofit accounting looks like. Normally, your Learn Smart, LS is your Learn Smart, and in the syllabus I have that notation um, spelled out for you. But your Learn Smarts are normally due on um, Tuesdays at 11 o'clock, which means you do them before you come to class if you're in the hybrid section. And then if you're on, in the online section, the reason we do this is to help you um, get a better handle on getting your assignments turned in so you're not waiting till the last minute to dig into the chapters. And so, but this first week, I'm not going to ask you to turn something in on the second day of class. So the first week, I have your Learn Smart due on the following Monday. My due dates are Mondays at midnight. And um, then your homework and your quizzes and, again, online students, your discussion boards, those are due on August 26th at midnight. So this first week, everything is due next Monday. After that, your Learn Smarts will be due on Tuesday at 11. And on your discussion boards, online students, you'll have your, to do your initial post on Thursdays by midnight and then your peer responses Monday by midnight, the following Monday. That way, if we wait, um, a lot of times there's no one to give a peer response to. And so I have your initial response due first. Um, there are three exams. They're, they're noted on here. There is um, a comprehensive final. We will have a citywide practice set and a research assignment. And so I'll give you more information on that as the semester goes along. This is other information that you might need um, related to Southeastern and our information technology infrastructure, which is very, very good. And so... Um, Oh, I love it when this happens. Here we go. So here's my syllabus. And um, again, this is governmental accounting. My uh, phone number and my email and my office location are here. Again, the best way to reach me is email. If you want to stop by for an appointment, it's always a good idea to email me first. Um, I do have set office hours, but I often have meetings. And so 
I just need to make sure if you're, if, especially if you're driving from out of town, just make sure I'm going to be there. It's always a good idea to do that. Meeting times, if you are enrolled in the on, uh, the, I'm sorry, if you're enrolled in the hybrid section, we meet on Tuesdays at 11 o'clock. Um, if you're in the online section, obviously no class attendance is required. You do have discussion boards instead. Required materials, this is the ISBN. Um, I do um, give you both for the um, hardback and for the loose leaf. Either one of those are fine. Course policies, um, I do expect you to read your assignments. If you email me a question or you come at my office and ask me to help you with your homework, I want to make sure that you've read your chapter and that you have a good understanding of the content. I'm more than happy to help you with that. Um, attendance, again, if you're enrolled in the hybrid, you are required to come to class. There will be points given in the equivalent to the discussion board for the online students. Exams, there are three exams and a comprehensive final which is um, an open-ended exam covering all topics during the semester. And what that means is my final exam is open-ended questions. And I don't want to say essay questions because a lot of them are just short answers. But what I look for in a comprehensive final is what do I want to walk, what do I want you to walk away knowing about governmental and nonprofit accounting? So kind of big picture. And I'll give you a good uh, review before we take that final exam. The quizzes are taken in Blackboard, and they will be multiple choice, almost always. Um, homework, those will be also done in Blackboard. No late work is accepted. No late work is accepted on the quizzes. Um, Smartbook, those are also called Learn Smart. They're changing the name in McGraw-Hill, and some books have changed and some haven't. So Learn Smart and Smartbook is the same thing. Um, those are required, and those are um, worth 10 points, so make sure you get those done. Don't cheat. I won't. I just, no exceptions, don't cheat. I don't like it when people cheat. I think it's it's very wrong. It's a waste of your money. It's a waste of your time. And it's a waste of my time as well. So I appreciate your honesty. Do your own work. You enrolled in the class to learn about governmental accounting. And you can't do that if you're cheating. Um, course grading. So this is just kind of a, a breakdown of the points. And... Um, Discussion boards are by week, not by chapter, because attendance is by week, not by chapter. And then if you have any questions about the date, there's the website that um, you can find important dates for the semester. So as I said, um, we, we stick to the course schedule, and down here is where I have the notations. LS is SmartBook or Learn Smart, depending on um, what, uh, I think the eBooks have updated and the, the textbooks have not. DB is a discussion board. Um, like I said, my due dates generally are Monday at midnight, but you will have your um, initial post online students for those discussion boards on Thursday so we can get those um, posts out there so that people can respond. So again, welcome to Governmental Accounting. I'm really excited about this class. There will be more later on the research problem component and on the citywide practice set. Generally, students really enjoy doing practice sets, and so I hope this is a good experience for you as well. Please feel free to stop by my office and see me anytime you're on campus, and um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.